Hi, Larry Gaines, Power Cycle Trading. Well, tomorrow Friday is the non-farm payroll number. That's coming out tomorrow morning at 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central. And that uh, is kind of a number that I call a catalyst event. So you want to be really careful going into that number. You know, last uh, month in February, that number really caused the markets to tank. So you can see uh, that really created the big sell-off. If you look back here, right here, you can see the NASDAQ crumbled, everything crumbled. So right now you want to be aware of that and you can see that the S&P right here coming into kind of the midday uh, today Thursday is coming kind of pulling back right into these moving averages. It couldn't get through the 50. You can see the Russell's pulling back. You can see the Dow's kind of pulling back. So everything's, you know, trying to hold in here at these key Fibonacci levels. Here's the 50% retracement on the S&P, 786 on the NASDAQ looking st steady and you've got it over the 618 here on the Russell, but very, very weak still on the Dow. So you want to be very careful going into that number. Let's take a look at uh, what you can look for tomorrow on the S&P. So here's the S&P futures, and you can see again where we are. You know, we're getting past momentum. Our momentum indicators are looking good. Cycle one and two are starting to push up. You can see this uh, momentum signal trigger here just triggered today. Uh, we've got a, what we call a pennant. This is a, a wedge. You can see this is a descending uh, trend line and a, an ascending trend line. So it's kind of like a, we call this a pennant uh, kind of formation. So it can be a very explosive breaking out of something like that. So, you know, it, it could just kind of churn in here even into next week. But uh, tomorrow, if it does uh, uh, have a big explosive move, it could be tomorrow from that non-farm payroll number. So, you know, if it broke above this uh, trend line here, you know, we'd see more of an explosive move up. Uh, or it could start moving down here but uh, below this 2674. So just be aware of this area here. So uh, you, you can see this pennant and kind of the breakout would be you know around this 2755, 56 and 2683, etc. Now we're also starting to get what we call volatility squeeze on the lower time frames. So here's the 30 minute and you can see a volatility squeeze starting to form there on the 30 minute time frame. And again, we're going into tomorrow morning with that non-farm payroll, which will be before the markets open. And then you can see on the hourly time frame, we're also starting to get a, a, a volatility squeeze. Just let me load this up so you can see. So starting to get an hourly squeeze here. So, uh, you know, tomorrow is going to be, I think, a kind of a telling day to see if this market can get going back up or if it's going to fail and maybe start pushing back down. Hope this helps. Talk to you on the next video update.